This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Disney's Marvel's Crystal Dynamics Square Enix Avengers has only just arrived, but is quickly assembling accolades such as the award for 84th best PS4 game of 2020. To be fair, it's difficult to compete with this year's library of cutting-edge PS4 titles, like Doom 64. Especially when all the developers had to their advantage was a AAA budget, distinguished voice actors, and the most popular characters in the world. Last summer, these guys were able to make Endgame the highest grossing film of all time, to which James Cameron responded, I am the king of the mountaintop! I am the golden god of this place! I reign supreme! Sir, this is a Wendy's. I... The Marvel Cinematic Universe reinvented the Hollywood blockbuster by serializing a massive saga into 23 standalone films that lovingly adapted not only the comic books, but the comic book experience of eagerly awaiting each new issue until the epic conclusion feels like the final page in a chapter of your own life. Since 2008, this motion picture tour de force and its explosive cultural impact have shattered records around the globe. However, during this time, the video game industry surpassed annual box office revenue by more than double, while also proving to be an equally competent and exceedingly avant-garde place to tell stories. It's a time of great innovation and technological advancement. So it defies all nerd logic that the world's most profitable team of heroes and the world's most profitable form of entertainment have mostly failed at producing anything close to their combined potential. In fact, the worst renditions of this marvelous mythology are often the interactive ones. And the reason for that has been a fundamental problem throughout gaming history. The problem is traditional media's misconception that video games are little more than licensing opportunities, which results in administrative apathy for the art form, anti-consumer business practices, and boomer things like Street Fighter the Movie The Game. Now, before we decide if Marvel's long overdue video game Avengers are the heroes we deserve, you're probably wondering why the boyfriend from Girlfriend Reviews is about to thank you for coming to his TED Talk. It's because Shelby thought the best intro to this particular video would be a long dorky rant you didn't ask for. Because this is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Marvel's Avengers. As you can tell, Matt is a Marvel fan and gaming advocate who's inclined to have unreasonably strong opinions about trivial stuff. I'm sure you all know that type of guy. Well, of course I know him. He's me. But regarding Avengers, I don't think those types of guys are being unreasonable enough because I hate this game. Are you ready, Thor? Are you ready, Thor? Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, bye. Oh, no. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Thor! This is going to be a rather rocky ride. Uh -oh. You're right, it is a rocky ride. Everyone hold on! Compared to everything else on our channel, I would rank it somewhere between a dusty Kingdom Hearts 3 box that has the wrong disc inside and an unclaimed activation key for Fallout 76 that I got as a Cracker Jack prize for buying a microphone. There's a couple things you need to know about this review, though. First, I entered it with almost zero relationship to these characters. Do you know all those people on the screen? Yeah. Do you know who we're looking at? Yeah, oh, that's Emma Stone. <laughs> that's the Iron Giant, G.I. Yep. Joe, mm -hmm. Ninja Turtle, <laughs> and uh, Subwoofer Boy. <laughs> but keep in mind, I'd never even heard of these f***ing people and I love their games. The second thing you need to know is that we didn't do multiplayer stuff because the Destiny-esque grindfest genre isn't really our cup of tea. Fortunately, for people like us, the Avengers cup of that tea has a fully fleshed out, narrative-focused, single-player turd floating around in it. So that's what I'll be dissecting today. Wow, nothing like multiplayer modes in a single-player game. Need backup with Bravo. Let's start with the solid yet brittle plot. Basically, people worship the Avengers like the gods one of them literally is because they are righteous defenders of Earth and have very collectible merchants. Merchandise, but then they lose one little terrorist attack and get canceled on Twitter. I don't want to play with you anymore. So the Avengers break up and go cry about it on their own personal Dagobahs. Into exile, I must go. Failed. Also, the game tries to convince you that Captain America died, but this is the face the writers were making, so every single player presses X to doubt. Five years later, the world is racist against superhumans and will bully anyone who even thinks about reading a comic book. I am a victim of a hate crime. That's not what a hate crime is. Well, I hated it! But wait, it wasn't the Avenger's fault, it was Megamind's fault, and he can only be stopped if our heroes reassemble before the final boss of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. You really believe? Could stop me. So the plot seemed pretty okay to me, and even my boyfriend was like, You think it's okay? It's clean? It is acceptable. But the story is told predominantly through the eyes of a fanatical teenager whom the audience is frequently forced to play as even after unlocking, you know, 
the cool Avengers. And the reason she gets wrapped up in all this is because the password to Tony Stark's AOL Instant Messenger account is his catchphrase. Oh no, is this gonna happen? The music is Is swelling, the password so. to Tony Stark's account, I am Iron Man? What? <laughs> What the hell? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And I know a lot of folks love Miss Marvel in the comics, but the majority of us don't know how to read, and when a box says Avengers on it, the gameplay we imagine is Iron Man, weaponized exoskeleton with the power of flight, or Captain America, super soldier with the power of frisbee, not Miss Marvel, adolescent motor mouth with the power of balloon hands. Still working on making it not look goofy, but... Impossible. Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> the entire concept of a team-based adventure in which a diversely skilled cast conquers evil with their friendship peaks at the very beginning. Now this is what I call Avengers! It doesn't seem that fun to play, but look at him go! Do a barrel roll! Press buttons, you jackass! Whee! Oh my god. Wow. After that, I'm not sure it felt like being in the Avengers ever again. Hulk, go stand on that thing over there, you dummy. Hulk! <laughs> go stand on that thing, you dummy! <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I just do it myself. You can't swap between heroes, issue commands to them, or even customize their bullshit. And during a lot of the missions, you're straight up alone. Oh no, Bruce, Iron Man! What did you do to him? What am I gonna tell Pepper? <laughs> But it's hard to remember how many, because either way, you're lonely. These aren't super friends. These aren't even ordinary cohorts. These are like minor acquaintances. Scar Joe. Anybody? <laughs> okay. Hey, it's my game I paid for. You guys are not real. <laughs> On the other hand, do bad AI companions matter as long as you're having fun? I'm going to be honest right now. I'm not having that much fun. <laughs> <laughs> As a talentless gamer who crankies easily, I prefer watching my boyfriend, which is why I have never presumed to know how fun something is to actually play. But do I even need to watch him effortlessly run and jump in a straight line to presume that isn't fun platforming? Do I even need to watch him equip gear that has no perceivable effects or visual novelty to presume that isn't fun looting? And do I even need to watch him defend squares A through C, hover above a circle, or fist fight dozens of inanimate objects to presume those aren't fun story missions in a Superhero game? Moving a shape with a joystick so it stays on top of another shape sounds like some Atari trash, but that's how you fly through a storm as Iron Man on the PS4. I wish I was having more fun right now. Although, I did presume that the combat was fun. I mean, at least it looks like the stuff Avengers might do, and for a chunk of time, my boyfriend was like, I can do this all day. And then by the end, he was like, ah! Make it stop! Okay, you guys, I've been harder on this game than any I've ever reviewed. But I'm good with it. I think I might be turning into a gamer because this time Matt's long dorky rants were starting to make some sense. Remember in 2009? Oh man. When Arkham Asylum came out and IGN's Greg Proops infamously said that it really makes you feel like Batman? Well, Batman and Iron Man are both genius billionaire playboy philanthropists who fight crime with gadgets of their own invention and even have the same catchphrase. So why is it? With decades of source material, record profits, and all the markings of a goat, has the video game industry never been allowed to say I am Iron Man and mean it. I don't know, but to anyone out there spending money they don't have on microtransactions they don't need, you know what Marvel thinks you look like with your in-game credits and your ultra-rare suits? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed hustling rube. And speaking of microtransactions, we have a micro version of our dog Daphne that you can purchase for a limited time. Now we have to sell 400 units to fund the campaign, and if we don't, everyone gets a refund. No pressure. Thanks for listening to my sales pitch, guys. Please enjoy this word from our sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Listen, nothing gets your big brain going like a room that just feels good to be in. Make sure you're feeling your best when you're home with Lauren Cox's class, Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Your Perfect Space. The great thing about Skillshare is that you can take classes that fit your schedule. And there are so many to choose from with real projects and support from fellow creatives. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. But if you're in the first 500 of our subscribers to click the link in the description, you'll get a two month free trial of a premium membership so you can take the first step to accomplishing your goals and exploring your creativity. So take the next step in your creative journey and click that link in the description for your free trial. Oh. Oh, it's hard not to tease it. Look at it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. The music. <laughs>